What's going on guys? This is Poker Stacked and I'm going to be talking about the best way to build a bankroll when it comes to playing online poker. Now before we get into this, I wanted to let everyone know about this big tournament they've got going on right now on Ignition. So it's a million dollar event guys. Um, pretty crazy stuff. If you guys want to learn more about it, I'll have a link in both the description and comments of this video. Now, Ignition, I'm going to be going over some gameplay on a quick session I had here as I go over some of these bankroll tips. Um, you know, I've been playing on Ignition now for like over three years. They're backed by Bodog, uh, great software, great bonuses, um, and just good stuff. But uh, when it comes to bankroll building or, you know, kind of understanding how much money you should be starting with, 20 buy-ins is pretty much like the norm. So, you know, if you've got a $1,000 uh, of a bankroll, you don't want to be playing more than like 50 bucks at a time. But in my opinion, guys, and this <laughs> this is a big deal, uh, I wouldn't even recommend playing games, you know, under 100 or 200 bucks. So, you know, you're, the reason for that is because like when you play online poker, Obviously, it's going to be for entertainment purposes, you know, but you also want to try to like make some money and you're not going to do that playing those really low stake games. So the best way to do this is to, you know, save up, it, I would say the minimum $2,000, save that up. Then when you get to that point, put it into whatever poker site you want to play out. Obviously, I recommend Ignition and they've got those good bonuses, but um. What you want to do here is start with a good amount of money so you can at least try to make some money, okay? I, I feel like that's so important. Um, you know, $100 buy-in games uh, are obviously good to start with. Uh, you want to work up to like one, two, no limit and above like I'm playing right here. Um, and uh, this was actually a pretty crazy hand. So I had Jack-10 suited. I called a re-raise of $18. I hit the turn card Jack on the turn. So we had two pair. This guy decided to bet like 44 bucks into it. Um, and obviously my only option at this point, I felt like was to just re-raise shove. Cause if he's got ace king, he could still hit some cards. Um, you know, he could hit the, uh, the queen. Uh, if he's got pocket aces or kings here, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting good value going to the river card as, you know, as long as anything doesn't pair with this two pair. So I re-raised here. This guy is going to end up folding it unfortunately so i don't know what he had the river card was going to end up being an ace so maybe we dodged a bullet there you know i have no idea um but uh you know just kind of back to these bankroll tips guys save up some money first you know uh, i think two thousand dollars is probably going to be the uh the sweet spot um you know uh for me though like i play one two no limit a lot two five and five ten so i mean i always have a few thousand dollars you know in in my account at all times and the reason for that is because i want to be able to play whatever games i want to play uh but you know if you're just wanting to play for like entertainment and you don't really care about making money then yeah i mean you could you could put a couple hundred bucks in it play some small games have some fun but if you take the game a little bit more seriously then you know you got to get serious you know you got you got to save up some money put it aside um you know you could always grind a bankroll from like you know a hundred or two hundred bucks but that could take you months you know what i mean it's like uh, yeah i mean you're gonna be wasting so much time trying to like grind it grind it up to something that it's it's just like such a waste of time you're just better off saving up some money okay so try to save up two g's all right when you get those two g's start playing some hundred dollar games you know put in uh one to three hour sessions see if you can start winning and then you know try to move up from there when you're playing a certain level you got to make sure you can beat that level before you move up to the next but you know, be between playing, uh, you know, 50 cent dollar and one to no limit, like I'm playing right now, really not a lot of difference when it comes to like the competition level. I feel like the players are basically the same. Okay. So this hand, I had a King six suited. Um, you know, I continued betting cause I re -ra I raised preflop here. Uh, we basically hit nothing on the turn. We hit the King on the river. Unfortunately, this guy is going to have me with the kicker. He had King queen, like a jerk and uh you know we ended up losing that hand so what are you gonna do all right uh next hand here we had i believe ace four ace four suited 
Okay, so we had an ace four suited here. Um, you know, playing four handed at this point, so I put in a raise. Player three was playing a little bit slow, uh, but everyone's gonna end up folding this one. Now we're gonna have one more hand coming up here. It was a pretty crazy one. Uh, I don't recommend playing like this when you're playing, uh, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. Play a little crazy, I guess. Uh, you definitely have to be bluffing. I mean, bluffing is part of poker. Uh, you're going to see me put in a pretty nice size bluff on this hand. All right, so I did 2-8 suited. I was in the big blind. The only reason I was even in this hand to begin with, honestly, and I called the raise, was because I was in the big blind. And, yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could say I was being stubborn, too. Okay, player three, raise it up to six bucks. I'm going to make the call. All right, so we hit bottom pair, uh, runner, runner, flush possibility. We could also two pair, maybe hit trips if an eight comes. Uh, but this guy bets 12 bucks into it. So he's definitely rep representing strength. I don't know what he had. Uh, turn card here was a nine, so... Losing some outs here uh, with with his ranges, I guess you could say. But he's going to check this. Checking that was the biggest mistake he made in this hand. Uh, because on this jack hitting the river, it gave me an opportunity to bluff at it. So I threw 35 bucks into it. And, um, you know, it was possible his range of hands could have been like ace-10 or king-10. Uh, so I had to risk it here. So I bet 35 into it. He's going to think about it for a little bit, but ultimately he's going to end up folding it and I'm going to take down this pot. Uh, but, you know, kind of how I started this video, guys, uh, when it comes to, you know, bankroll tips, the first thing you got to do is save up some money to play with, right? Like I said, save up two G's. Uh, and then when you have those two G's, play the $100 games. If you can beat the $100 games, move up to the 200 And uh, you should be making a, a nice little uh, side income, I guess you could say, if you're beating those games. Um, anyways, if you guys could uh, you know, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker content, and we'll see you in the next one.